Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone So, before I and my partner explain about this material in this day Let me to introduce our group first Okay, maybe you can see in here the name of group are first Melanisa Optika and the last one is Arun Satria Pertiwi. And we are from Language Assessment and Testing Development Class B. And in this opportunity, we will to explain about the material that has title is Coding Method. So, before we learn together about what is the meaning of scoring method, let's see this PPT together. Okay, in this PPT, you can see about the, some question for you guys. So, before we will to explain together or before we uh, want to learn together about this material in this day, let's to answer two questions in this PPT. And the question is, First, what is the meaning of scoring method? And the second is, how about your opinion if the teacher implementation of scoring method? So, when you don't know about the answer from these questions, let's learn together. Okay. Next, what is the meaning of scoring method? Maybe anyone know about the meaning of scoring method? Just no problem. When you don't know about the meaning of scoring method, let's to learn together about the definitions of scoring method. You can see in this PPT the definitions of scoring method. In terms of assessment, is a learning activity that has the aim of knowing the success or failure of learning activities. In addition, the assessment method can also be defined as the process of the assessment method is the process of collecting and processing information about the achievement of students' learning outcomes. However, Perkins states that the assessment is an activity of measuring data based on certain criteria and rules. So from this, it can be concluded that from this assessment method, teacher can find out about the achievement of students' learning outcomes. Okay, next. Do you know about the advantage of using scoring method? So, let's learn together. The advantage of using scoring method are first, make it easier for teacher to know the level of understanding of their students. Second, make it easier for teacher to distinguish each ability possessed by their student without fear of mistakes. And the last one is make it easier for a teacher to apply learning methods in the classroom so that it can improve the ability of students to understand the material that has been taught. Okay, next is what is the type of scoring method? Okay, guys. As we know, the types of scoring method are first, holistic, and the second one is analytic. Next, can you describe about the meaning of analytic scoring method? So, analytic scoring method is a process to determine the level of students' understanding properly and correctly. In addition, the analytic scoring method is an assessment method that is often used by teachers. This is because throughout this analytic scoring method, the teacher only needs to multiply the value of the subject that have been prepared according to the student's abilities with the relative numbers that have been determined by the teacher in each subject. Besides that, this analytic scoring method provides clear and easy to understanding information for students. Therefore, this analytic scoring method is often used in the learning process at school and universities. Okay, next, what is the advantage of using analytic scoring method? Yes, maybe you can see in this PPT, there are four advantages of using analytic scoring method. According to Hughes, the analytic scoring method has many advantages, including first, students can find all their ability to understand the subject talk in class, second, Students can find out easily about what abilities need to be improved. Third, teachers can easily help students in improving their understanding of the subject that are lacking. And the last one is, teacher can easily determine new learning methods so that the students are easy to understand the subject. 
they teach properly and correctly. Okay, next, what is the advent? I mean, what is the disadvantages of using analytic scoring method? Analytic scoring method does only have advantage. However, the analytical scoring method also has drawbacks. Following are the disadvantage of analytical scoring methods. For first, it is difficult to achieve the predetermined scoring target, and the last one is it is difficult to calculate the value. So sometimes the teacher has to repeat or give more value to the students. Okay, next is holistic scoring method. Holistic scoring is an assessment method based on overall quality. This method are often used in large-scale assessment, such as college tests, tests of English as a foreign language or TOEFL, and graduate uh, record examination or GRE. Holistic scoring is rarely used than analytic scoring. Why? Uh, because of holistic scoring not as detailed as analytical scoring. Holistic scoring used through assessment way not to assess in detail such as an analytic scoring. Okay, next is the advantage of holistic scoring. First is faster and safe time. Second, valid, reliable, and consistent. Third, gives overall judgment. When the teacher used this method, they would rate the overall performance of their student writing by reading, so that uh, they could assess the essays quickly without having to look at the making rubric many times. Okay, next is the disadvantage of holistic scoring. First is, doesn't provide specific feedback for improvement. Second, it's difficult to determine the best value of this aspect assessment that more specific. Third, criteria cannot be weighted. Fourth, scores can depend more upon the, the red uh, than upon text qualities. Ham Lions 2003. Okay, the last is conclusion. First, analytic scoring method. Based on the statement above, uh, the analytic scoring method is a process to determine the level of student understanding properly and correctly. This method is used uh, is often used by teacher. This is because through this analytic scoring method, the teacher only needs to multiply the value of the subjects uh, that have been prepared according to the student abilities with the relative numbers that have been determined by the teacher in each subject. Okay, next is holistic scoring method. As we know, holistic scoring is an assessment method based on overall quality. Holistic scoring is rarely used than analytic scoring. Why? Uh, because of holistic scoring not as detailed as analytic scoring. This method usually used when the teacher got much in a large assessment. Okay, that's all the explanation uh, about scoring method. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, if there are many mistakes, we apologize to you all. Okay, thank you very much for your full attention. And maybe if you have some questions for this material, you can ask... I and my partner when I and my partner presentations in the class. Okay, thank you very much guys and see you in the next opportunity. Bye-bye and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.